All right. Morning, Kwai. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Great. Um, raise your hand if you have questions, please, and we'll get started with Ohm. Hey, Kawhi. Um, Ty was saying yesterday that he's installed a couple of triangle sets, um, hoping to kind of put you in the Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant spots and roles. And those are guys that you kind of studied and emulated. I was wondering, what do you think about that this season? How do you like it so far? And how much have you studied or, or looked up to Michael and Kobe over the years? Um, I mean, a lot. Uh, you know, they, they're one of the best basketball players uh, to touch to you know play play in the NBA and uh, you know um, you know I watch everybody pretty much but you know those guys uh, were able to get to their spots lead their teams to championships and uh, you know that's something that inspires me inspires me and how much will it uh, help you as far as like maybe getting to your spots even more how do you like playing some triangle sets uh, it's good. It's been good. Um, you know, as long as, uh, you know, it's a team concept to it as well. Uh, it's not just, you know, focusing on me scoring. Uh, you know, it, it's just about movement, uh, pretty much uh, not keeping everybody uh, just stagnant and, and in mud. So, uh, you know, as long as it's uh, going to help us win games, you know, on forward, uh, you know, and, you know, I think it will. And we'll just see what happens with it pretty much. Um, but, you know, so far, so good. Um, you know, nobody's complaining about it. Uh, now it's time to just carry it over to games and get better at it. Thank you. Next up, Justin Russo. Hey, Kawhi, how are you doing today? Good. Good, thank you. Um, kind of building off of what Ohm just asked, going through the film of the preseason games has been rather interesting because it seems like there's an added emphasis on getting you mo moving more with like pin downs and handoffs. Do you feel that's a change from last year or is it more or less about the same as it was? Um, I mean, it's little wrinkles that are different. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, but I came off a lot of, you know, um, down screens last year, um, you know, playing up top a lot and um, yeah, but it was just a lot more single, single action stuff. Uh, just um, not double aways, not too many double aways. And, you know, I hope, like I said, hopefully uh, we could keep getting better at it and, and learn from what's going on and just play, be a better basketball team, pretty much. Um, you know, that's all I want to do. I uh, want to win games and just have a better, uh, you know, camaraderie on the floor. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Andrew Gray. Hey, Kawhi, um, a couple weeks ago when Paul uh, was talking about his extension, he said that you were one of the people that he really wanted to inform ahead of time. Um, obviously, he said that he hopes this is kind of the start of some like a long term partnership between you two. H how do you, I guess, at this point with the season starting, view your future, your decision that you might make this summer in terms of turning down the player option and entering free agency? I guess, how much, how much, do you, what do you think about that? And how much have you thought about that so far? I mean, I spoke to Paul, he, he felt comfortable, uh, you know, um, he felt comfortable here. Um, he, he loves the city, um, he, obviously from here, um, you know, so I, I think, uh, you know, for, for, from his standpoint, he did a great job of, you know, coming to me and, and telling me how he feels before he signs the contract. Uh, just for my situation right now, and, uh, I'm just focused on this season, you know what I mean? Um, uh, I'm not saying I'm going anywhere else or staying here, but uh, I'm just focused on the season. And, you know, obviously for, uh, you know, if I, if I stay healthy, um, the best decision is to decline a player option, but that doesn't mean I'm, I'm leaving or staying. I'm focused on the season, like I said. We'll talk about that uh, when the time is right. Thanks, Kwai. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Miriam Swanson. Hi, Kawhi. Happy uh, day before the season. Um, Pat Bev, question for you. I, ha having played with him for a year now, like what have you learned about that guy? I know you guys worked out during the hiatus. And, and what do you think last year's experience does sort of for his evolution as a player? Um, you know, with Pat, he just wants to get better. Um, you know, every day uh, he's very competitive. Uh, you know, um, 
you know, he tries to get under everybody's skin now in this season. Uh, I feel like he's trying to get everybody ready for that moment. Um, you know, last year, uh, you know, it was the first year, you know, some of the guys had targets on their backs, meaning, uh, you know, picking us to either win or, you know, go deep in the playoffs. And I think that carryovers to this year, uh, they know what is, what's expected and uh, they know what um, we want to do. And, you know, he's a part of that right now. And, you know, he, he wants to win bad. So, um, you know, I like Pat. He's a competitor and he's a team guy. Um, you know, he does his role. You know, I, I, I enjoy him. I, I like playing with him. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Tomer. Hey, cool. Oh, sorry. That's my fault. Yeah, somebody cut. Go ahead, Tomer. Can you hear me? Good. Okay. Um, good to see you, Kawhi. I'm just curious, when it comes to Serge, uh, I know you guys only played a year together, but what kind of a relationship were you guys able to build both on and off the court? Um, obviously, you guys won a title together. He had you on his show eating, um, you know, bull penis pizza or something. What's the relationship like between you guys on and off the court? Uh, I mean, just friends, really, pretty much. Um, whatever relationship you have with a friend, uh, you know, we could talk about anything together. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I guess it's just trusting one another. Uh, you know, even if it's bad, you know, things on the court, he's telling me, you're not doing this right. Uh, you know, I listen, I understand, and I could tell him the same thing, like, stop doing this, or you're doing a great job at doing this. And I think that's what builds a great team, when you could just hold, hold each other accountable and you're not mad at the situation or what someone is telling you to do uh, if they're coming from a good place. Thank you. We have one more question that will come from Nick Hamilton. Hey, Kawhi. Um, what have you pretty much learned about this team uh, coming in from training camp the, the time that you guys have uh, developed chemistry and getting ready for the regular season uh, tomorrow? Uh, I think everyone is, um, you know, pretty much bought into the plan. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't see anyone, you know, too much, pretty much focused on themselves. It's everybody trying to buy in and, and learn our team concepts and, you know, uh, just wanting to do their part uh, to win. Um, we, want to, we want to make an emphasis of everybody just being a winner in their role. Uh, no matter what, uh, you know, T. Lou wants you to do or uh, me or Paul, um, you know, just everybody wants to win. I feel like uh, everybody uh, is paying attention and uh, practice being informative. Uh, it's been pretty good. Thanks, Kawhi. That's it for today.